Hello, mamans. All right, so today we are going to be doing a hip-based yoga flow. There will be some lunging, um, but we are going to be focusing on opening the hips. Uh, that's kind of the theme for this week. Anyways, so let's just start off in a comfortable seated position. I'm going to go cross-legged, easy sit today. Um, and you can have your blocks nearby. It's always nice to have two. And I'm just going to prop my bum up so I can sit really nice and tall. And let's just lower the gaze. So you can either have your eyes completely closed or just have a soft focus and let's just arrive. So bring an awareness to the sit bones that are on the floor. Feel equal in the pressure between those bones. So start to notice the position of the shoulders, any tension in the jaw, the face, the neck. And now start to notice your breath. Are you breathing more into the chest, into the belly? Just try and take a few deep breaths, inhaling wide through the rib cage, and then exhaling out the mouth like a nice big sigh. Inhaling, and then an exhale. Last one, inhale. And then big sigh, let it all go. Good stuff. Flutter the eyelids open. We are going to start with a cross-legged position that some people find a little bit uncomfortable. We're basically going to try and cross the ankle and the knee over each other. So I'm going to place my left leg down. I'm going to so I'm going to place my right leg down. I'm going to bring the knee of my left onto the top and then cross my uh, left ankle over onto the right knee. So as you can see, my hips are quite open. This is quite easy for me to do. But for a lot of people, it can look like this. And that's okay. That's the point of this exercise is that we're there. If you experience that sensation, what you can do is prop a block underneath just so that you feel a little bit supported, or if the block is too high, you can place a fist there, or just gentle palms onto the leg. Now when we're sitting, I want us to think about really elongating from the spine. So maybe sit back a little onto the sit bones, rather than being forwards onto them. Roll those shoulders down. And from here, we're just gonna take a couple of little gentle twists. So I'm taking my right arm, I'm gonna prop it onto the top leg, and then gently twist away, starting to open up the spine. And remember, every time we exhale, that's when we um, go deeper into a stretch or try and twist a little bit more. I'm going to inhale, take my arms out wide, and then exhale, swapping that twist now. So I'm on my left hand is by the left foot, and then rotating. And inhale, take the arms out wide. We're going to swap legs. So then I'm putting my left on the floor, placing my right ankle onto the left knee and trying to keep that shin in a nice straight line. Good. Make any adjustments that you need to. Feel the sit bones here. And we're going to do that same twist. So we're going to open the arms up, take the right, place it onto the right foot, twisting. So why so much twisting? So the way our rib cage and spine works is that the rib cage connects to the spine and there's lots of muscles surrounding it. Inhale, take the arms out wide and then exhale, we're going to twist. And we basically are just trying to mobilize all of that musculature around the rib cage so we can move better, feel better, breathe better and good stuff. All right. 
We're gonna take it up now to a standing position. Have your blocks nearby if you need them, especially for the lunging and things. Um, and off we go. So we're gonna to come to the top of the mat. Uh, feet comfortable distance apart. Spread the toes and then just stand up nice and tall. So we're thinking again about that position that we're in. We don't wanna be like this or like this. So ever so slightly rolling those shoulders down, tucking the pelvis. We're gonna inhale, take the arms up nice and high. Looking up towards the ceiling, bring the shoulders away from the ears. Elongate that neck. We're gonna look forwards and I'm gonna take my left leg back to a high lunge position. So you want your feet about hip distance apart when we do this. We're nice and tall, extending the arms up towards the ceiling, bringing the back knee towards the floor now. Just gonna make my lunge a little bit longer. Bringing the back knee towards the floor. So if you feel like you're arching through the spine, I want you to tuck that back butt cheek under, ever so slightly bringing that knee towards the floor and trying to keep this right knee over the ankle if you can. Beautiful stuff. We're gonna cactus the arms. So you're gonna spread the fingertips, bring the elbows down, open the chest so you look like a cactus. Holding for a nice big inhale, exhale. Inhale, bring the arms up. We're gonna do that three times. We're gonna inhale, exhale, cactus arms, knee comes down, arms come down. Inhale, bring it back up. And then exhale, cactus. From there, we're gonna balance onto that front foot. We're gonna come into a warrior three. So I'm gonna take my back leg off. We're gonna bring all the weight into this front leg, working the balance. And then you wanna try and make your body look like a T in the air. So I'm bringing, if you can, you can keep arms out wide like an airplane, drop this left hip more towards the floor, work the balance, extend the knee, and then see if you can bring the hands together in prayer above the head extending the arms out, shooting them to opposite sides of the room. Focus on that calm breath. If the balance is suspect, have your blocks nearby. You can just work having the blocks here, focusing on the balance with that leg, and then focus on pointing that back toe, feeling the glute. Choose your option. Inhale, one last breath, really strong. Exhale. Coming back up, left foot is there. We're gonna take that left foot up for our balance, flexing the foot, toes towards the nose, knee in line with the hip if you can. We're gonna take that leg back to a low lunge this time. So take the back foot back a little bit more if you can. Bring the back knee to the floor. Release the toes. I'm gonna walk my right foot forwards ever so slightly. And this is that low lunge, but now we're gonna take the knee over the ankle. Pressing my knee over the ankle, have your blocks nearby if you need them. Your hands can go down to the floor, whichever feels good for you. We're gonna inhale and then exhale. Feel like you're dropping the left hip further into the floor. Allow that right knee to go towards the front of the room. Good. One more big breath in, exhale. From there, I'm going to extend my right foot in front of me, keeping my left hip on top of my left knee. We're just gonna flex that foot in front. And then from there, pressing it back forwards. We're gonna untuck those toes. We're gonna untuck that back foot. See if you can come up without the hands. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Bring the back foot forward to a balance. Way, good job. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Feet about hip distance apart. Inhale. Take the arms up, spread the fingers away from the ears. Taking that foot back to a high lunge. Cactus the arms, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, standing all the way up, exhale, bring it back, inhale, exhale, 
It's okay if one side is a little bit more wobbly than the other. Final inhale, coming all the way up. And then exhale, hands by your sides. We're gonna bring it back to that high lunge. Taking it back, arms overhead. We're gonna see if we can bring the body forwards for our warrior three. You choose your option, either stepping it forwards, blocks your nearby, or you're bringing the arms out like an airplane, or palms overhead, extending forwards like a T in the air. Looking to the edge of the mat or finding some form of focus or blocks nearby. So just because there's a full expression of the pose doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. Thinking about what muscles are working, trying to find balance, grounding in that bottom foot. One final breath. Good, and then coming back up to stand. Taking the leg back for a low lunge this time. Foot goes further back, knee drops to the floor, and then pressing the back hip toward the floor, left knee over the ankle, pushing the hip down, opening the chest. Flex that front foot. Feel the stretch for a moment. Press the knee back over for your hip flexor. Beautiful stuff. Bringing back up to the top of the mat. Okay, we're gonna take it back down to the mat. Have a block nearby. We're gonna start off with our bridge pose. So come down with a really nice controlled uh, sit back, so hands uh, behind the knees if you need them. Exhale. From here, we're going to start with our bridge. One way is to measure your feet towards your heels. So my fingertips should be able to touch my heels when we do this bridge position. We're going to open the collarbones, so feeling like we've got a nice open chest. We're not rounded through the spine. We're going to exhale. Inhale and lift the hips, peel the spine away from the floor, and then holding this bridge position. So the bridge in yoga is the beginning of a back bend. So now if it feels okay for you, we're going to focus on it today as a back bend as opposed to a glute strengthening exercise. So now when we bridge hold, I still want you to think about knitting um, the abdominals together and not just letting the belly hang loose. We're going to see if we can extend the hips a little bit more and squeeze the shoulder blades together so that we're up on the shoulder blades as well. From here, you should still have a little bit of a hold on the ankles. We're going to hold for a few breaths and then come back down and we're going to try again with a different variation. Driving into the heels. Final breath. Good. Release the shoulder blades. Uncurl the spine. Breathe for one moment. We're going to lift up, and now we're going to do a hand variation. So inhale, exhale, lifting the hips up, driving through the heels. So coming onto those shoulder blades, we are going to interlock the fingers behind our backs and then really. Um, open through the chest so that we're getting more chest opening. So keep that belly engaged. Nice, calm breathing. Pushing hips towards the ceiling. No pain in the lower back. If you feel pain in the lower back, just come down. Good. Final breath. And then um. Lock the fingers, roll down to come down. Now we're going to attempt a shoulder stand. There's a couple of different ways that we can do this. It's great if you have the block as a prop. 
in yoga, we've just arched the spine. So the alternative is to bring the spine. So if you don't want to try shoulder stand today, you can just keep the knees, hug them in towards the chest. If you'd like to try shoulder stand, one variation is to do this with a block underneath your low back. That can feel quite supportive. And all you're going to do is take one leg up towards the ceiling, other leg up towards the ceiling, and just focus here on drawing the pelvic floor muscles in, drawing the belly in, keeping nice balanced legs. If that's okay, so the way that I like to enter shoulder stand is from plow. So plow is where you take the legs behind the head. That can be quite nice with the block underneath the back. So we're here, and then we're just going to press our legs above our head, and then hands to the lower back. I'm going to take one leg up towards the ceiling. If that feels fine, we go for the other leg. And we're just focusing here and trying to be a straight line towards the ceiling. Focus on balance and calm breath. And then if at any point none of this feels good, don't do it. Just go back to one of the easier positions like the bridge or just focus having the legs in the air. Final breath. So to come down, I'm going to bring one leg back behind my head. I'm going to bring the other leg back, and then I'm going to roll the spine down, supporting myself as we come down, nice and gently. Good stuff. OK. Last one, remove the block if there's any there. We're just going to drop the knees to one side, release the back. Come back to center, drop the knees to the other side. Go back to center. I'm going to cross my right leg over my left, and I'm going to drop both legs towards the left, but towards the right hand side, so eagle leg. Holding for a few breaths. Bring it back to center. Cross my left over my right. Drop it towards the right. Eagle leg. Focusing on the breath. Back to center, hug the knees, roll to the side, come on back up. Thanks for joining today. I'll see you again tomorrow.